Inside of the case, the Antec Cooler H209-20 looks primarily the same as the H206-20 with, of course, the addition of the second inside cooler right here and the Antec lit up logo on the pump. Uh, once again, you've got a good amount of room inside the case, obviously not going to block any RAM slots whatsoever and gives you good access to all the components of the system. Uh, one of the niceties of the Cooler 920, the Antec logo actually changes colors through the software. Uh, it comes as the stock Antec blue, but you can bring up the red, it is continuously variable, and we can turn that into a purple. We can then take down the blue, make it a red, or anywhere in between that we want to. We can bring up the green, make it more of a yellow color. We can get rid of the red entirely and make it a nice green. Maybe bring in some blue to that, make it something of a teal. Continuously variable color wheel available in the software. Antec's chill control software provides you with control over your Antec Cooler 920 as well as uh, a readout of all the specifications of the 920, what's going on with it. Uh, when you start it up, you're greeted with the liquid temperature as well as the current sound level. You get the fan speed on a readout with an RPM dial as well as a readout min, max, and average and the pump speed is read right out the same way. Moving over, it can be viewed as a graph, uh, liquid temperature, as well as fan speed. You've also got a fan control. You can put it into custom mode and you can start what temperature, liquid temperature, your fans are going to start to ramp up to cool the liquid more and what temperature the liquid needs to be for the fans to be at full speed. This allows you to adjust a bit for uh, silence versus cooling capabilities. Uh, this cooler does get a bit loud at full speed, so what you're going to want to do is start your fan ramp up at a temperature where you're comfortable, you know, keeping the CPU cool and keeping the full fan speed temperature at uh, a temperature where you need the extra push to keep your CPU within its thermal limits. You can enable notification for liquid temperatures and set that to any temperature you like and a tolerance of 5 degrees centigrade, which also can be changed. You can enable fan speed notifications if the fan drops below 200 RPM with a tolerance of 50 RPM. You've also got a settings tab. You can change over to your display to Fahrenheit if you so desire. Or the normal Celsius. You can start the application minimized when you start Windows. You can choose to run on startup every time. You can enable logging. You can choose how long the statistics are performed over. And your lighting control is right here. We saw before uh, the Antec lighting on the pump can change colors. Your red, green, and blue can all be brought up and down. And down below you've got a color bar which will give you a good idea of exactly what's going on with the color of the lighting inside the case. So, nice package, very simple to use. Uh, you've got three presets up top. You've got the silent setting, which you see now. Silent setting is for just that, silent cooling. You also have a custom setting where you can go in, use the fan control, and set it up. The, custom, the fan control will only run on the custom setting with what you wanted to do, customize fan settings. You also have an extreme setting for extreme cooling, which is going to ramp up everything all the way to the max. Uh, that 56 dB is definitely not a lie. Uh, going to bring down your temperatures quite a bit. Let's see your fan speeds ramp up to right around 2500 RPM and the pump speed is going to go up to around 3,000 RPM and will max out over 3,300 RPM. 